Hello everybody, back to playing with some uh, things. So I got this Electrics Wonder Building Kit. I'm thinking of it as a robotics kit. It's $90, I'll show more of that in a moment here. Um, it says 20 and one on the website. It says 32 and one because they added 12 more models. I mean, it's, it's infinite. It's how many models you can decide to build with it kind of thing. The brains of it is a micro bit which is not included in the $90 kit. Uh, so you gotta get a micro bit. So, you know, you open this thing up, we get a whole bunch of stuff. So let me move things out of the way. You know, it's got, you know, your USB cord, screwdriver, some screws, little tool to uh, take things apart. We get a servo. We get a couple of motors. Now, if you didn't know the colors, how would you know this? these are motors and these are servos? And this one's a servo? Besides the fact that they told you you get one of this and two of that, is the cord. There are two connections here, two cords here, red and black, which means it's just got a positive and a negative kind of thing. And then this one has three, which means ground, power, and signal. That would be servo. Ground, power, and signal. We get your basic distance sensor. We get some cables. We get a line sensor. Another cable. Another cable. Um, a water sensor. Not that I'd play with that much, but hey, it's there to, to fiddle with. Um, and the other brain part is the uh, Wukong expansion board. Um, and then on top of that, you get all these bags of connectors, things to build with. They are Lego compatible. So these are basically like Lego techniques, Technic. You know, connectors. Wheels, of course, those are kind of important. Um, so those are the things that come with it. And you, you know, you build with all those Lego kind of pieces, add some more of your own Lego pieces, buy some more uh, Technic pieces, 3D printer laser cut. I mean, you could design and uh, you could design and 3D print some of these. Again, 3D printing does take a long time. Um, you could laser cut. Uh, they might not be the same thickness, but that's an idea. Um, and then that board. So this is the kit. I mean, there's some other things I would like, you know, to go with it. Like, I'd like an, another servo. Uh, but, you know, they got to stop somewhere. And then you just buy uh, some more things to go with it, to add on to it. Um, so let's see where, where we're at here. Uh, so I got it from Electrics, electrics.com. You know, Chinese company has a whole bunch of kits and boards, and I've liked some of their boards before, so I thought I'd give this a try. I actually bought the expansion board to play with a little bit before I bought the kit that had an expansion board. You know, I could have just saved my money, right? Um, so here it is on their site. It says it's good for the microbit 1 and 2, version 1 and 2. It says 32 and 1 because... Um, there aren't 32 models here, but they added 12 more. Um, but again, it's infinite. So it's like whatever you can build with it. Um, but they do have a website that has projects. So it's running you through, here's all the things that we build. And they only have 20 pictures here. Um, I don't know why they don't add the other 12. Water level sensor, the sonar bit, line tracking sensor we talked about. Um, then now they're talking about the Wukong board, which we'll get to here in a minute. There's the expansion board. We'll get to that. So, um, it comes with this Wukong expansion board, which is a really nice board that comes with a litho, uh, lithium ion battery, which is good too because it comes with the power, which a lot of them don't. So, that's nice. Um, where are we going here? You know, they're showing things you can build with it. Yeah, but let's get down. Here's what they're saying is you can you can attach all of this stuff to this board and still power it. Look, but they got a bunch of servos there. 
So why do they only include one of the kit? That's always my question. You know, two motors. Um, all these sensors that you can add to it. Integrated buzzer. Yeah, it's, you know, it's got the buzzer on it because the Microbit 2 also has a speaker. Uh, some LEDs. It's eight servo drives, two motors, four rainbow LEDs, some ambient lights underneath. So here's where we're at. So we got these here. So here is the on off switch. Here is the how you recharge it. It's got these holes that you can um, utilize to screw into uh, the Lego kind of board. It has LEDs, boom, 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 four LEDs to play with. So we're talking, you know, NeoPixel kind of things, which are awesome. I love things that have that. It has breakouts for eight servos. And they actually have them labeled because in the software they, they you can refer to them but like that. You don't have to know, uh, you know, like pin number five, pin number seven kind of thing. Um, it's just, well, you do got to know which servo pin you plug it into. They have five volts broken out here. So there's some work that goes on in the board to make five volts. And then they have pin zero, one, two, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15 of the micro bit broken out here. Awesome. Uh, two motor ports. Again, on off switch, um, charging, um, a switch to turn the buzzer on or turn the buzzer off. It's always nice to have that option. So it's got some nice features. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the I squared C, the uh, IIC uh, port available. So you know the sensors that are I squared C. Bam, we plug them. In, we plug them into there. But um, yes, we can only plug one into there. Sorry, but that is what we got. Um, so so it's a nice board. It's got some nice features to it. You know, if you just want the board by itself, what was it, like $25, $30 kind of thing, $27. Um, the whole kit was $90. So $25 of that is for that board. And then you got three sensors, two motors, a servo, and a bunch of build parts. So I think it's pretty good. I got some idea. Pretty good. I like the, the idea. Um, add on. So $90. Plus, and you got like 20, 25, 30 for the micro bit. So you're talking 120 for a robotics kit kind of thing. And I like that price point. Um, all robotics are too expensive, but that's everything in the world, right? They have, it doesn't come like packaged with it, but they've got this wiki that they've created. And it, it, it's a wiki for all of their kits. It, it's just, you know, a whole slew of instructions. So if you scroll down... And you find the 32-in-1 kit, click on that, you come here. And it's got links to 32 models. And follow the same pretty much format, purpose, link, materials required, bricks, to the brick build, you know, the hardware connections, the software, the coding, they're all the same format. Uh, so let's just look at the motorcycle one. So come here, because it shows you a nice picture of what you're building. Um, show you the materials that you're going to need so you can pull those out of uh, however you've organized your parts figure out some way to organize your parts um, and then they show you brick by brick by brick but they also have a video which is nice that they you know, run you through a video of building it and yeah they just give you some music that's so they'll show you how to build it so that's pretty good but yeah you do have to have you know web so there's no booklet uh to instruct you how to build it you got to be able to come here um obviously you could try and print this out as a pdf and save that if you needed it not as a website that maybe you needed it just on your server kind of thing um but they you know build it up show you how to build it brick by brick which is good. They give you a video how to build it, which is nice. Um, where am I going? Where am I going? Show you how to connect it. You know, motor one, motor two. Plug it in there. Good. And then they say, hey, we got to go to my. We got to go to make code. We got to do this. I'll go to that in a minute. Um, and then here's the code. Here's the here's the basic start of your code to play with it. And they do give you a link to um, that. On the micro bit so you could just like copy it and not have to you know and not have to write it in kind of thing right let me click on that 
so they give you that code that basic code that they created so yeah you could just you know click the edit code kind of thing and copy it to your make code so you don't have to recreate it because yeah this is a simple one but some of them might get more complex so if you're just in make code and you need to you want to do this and you're ready to work with it you need an extension so we got to go to extensions whether that's up here at the gear or that's down here where it says extensions take your pick doesn't matter we need extensions and we need to find the wukong extension because they've got one written just for the board because there are some you know special things to the board again the board has some neo pixels got it's got you know it's got some leds it's got some glow lights underneath it's got the eight servo breakouts it's got an i squared c it's got some parts that are specific so notice it added the neo pixel here uh-huh um so you click on the wukong and there's you know set light mode well that's the underneath lights you know light intensity motor motor um stop motor stop all motors set the servos what is this one i forgot oh that's for a that, that's for a different one i don't know why that popped in with that because we don't have a mechano interesting so there's the wukong and then um yeah the neopixel ones for those four pixels on top but now i'm wondering because i haven't played with it in a long time is how do you know what pins those neopixels are on huh something i need to look up which pin because you got to tell you know the micro bit which pin you're uh you're you're sending the neopixel instructions um, and it does not say on the board. I have one other one. Like, there's their cute bot. It actually says on the cute bot what pin the NeoPixels are on. So, again, that's something I'm going to have to look up. So, there's this neat kit. I'm, you know, let's start playing with it. Let's start building. Let's start coding some things to happen. Try it. Enjoy. Play. Have fun. Thanks.